Grace. I'll make it quick. Uh, the General Assembly has yet to approve a final budget, so what we have uh, currently is still based on the governor's budget, and it'll be doubtful if we have numbers and time to have a final budget uh, for our board meeting on the 17th, which means we'll probably have to pass a budget and then submit an amended one later when the final numbers are out. Uh, but uh, we did make a few modifications of refinements based on me actually getting salary scales completed to incorporate minimum wage impact of $10 an hour minimum. That drives a number of scales through. Uh, we also, uh, based on communication we received from uh, VDOE, uh, reduced our uh, special education regional tuition from 268000 down to two hundred and four. Uh, that's a change. Jeff, if you'll go to page 16. Uh, actually, just go on page 18. That's just redundant there. So, It used to look like this page here. Anticipate the local revenue. There you go. Oh. You're going to see a change to this number right here and uh, other local revenues. That's an increase based on the minimum wage impact of the cafeteria fund. Uh, there's an offset on the expenditure side since we act as the payroll agent for the um, for the cafeteria. They're going to have a higher payroll due to the minimum wage impact. We'll receive the revenue from them for the offset. Page 20, please. And just some other refinements based on um, uh, wages for the uh, teacher assistant at Callahan. Uh, that was based on uh, uh, a person we actually know who's going there now. Uh, we added the impact to the cafeteria for the minimum wage. Uh, I, I just mentioned the uh, revenue offset for that. Uh, the um, salary increase uh, net was refined by several thousand dollars. Uh, we refined the uh, target increases for administrative assistance, teacher assistance, maintenance personnel, and that's based on actual scales that have been developed for that. And then the, uh, I mentioned in our last presentation, we had a significantly higher number for um, the minimum wage impact. I noted then that that was, um, that was uh, very preliminary and I expected it to come down, which based on actual scales and an analysis of other miscellaneous jobs like shuttle drivers and summer activity drivers and things like that. Uh, that amount is 47,742. We also eliminated the uh, one other teacher assistant for the behavioral support program that was in there previously and there will be a reallocation of another position within our current uh, wherewithal to take care of that need. So uh, that gets us down to a total net of 754. Uh, once we apply the increase in revenue, we have a still we have a deficit of 382, and um, we get down to a balanced budget with these offsets. Uh, the change here is the uh, reduction of the four instructional positions. That's uh, gone up some based on an actual retirement resignation we have received, so that's been refined. That's the gist of the changes uh, thus far. We still have a balanced budget presented. And again, um, I believe the General Assembly is supposed to meet again this Thursday to try to finalize the budget. And uh, it usually takes the Virginia Department of Education uh, some time to generate the calculation tools for each school division. Uh, based on what we've heard, I do think it's gonna be uh, perhaps a little more favorable than the governor's budget, but that remains to be seen at this point in time. So, any questions? Based on the governor's budget, we balance. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and it looks, uh, on some preliminary information we received today, it looks pretty good, so. And that includes some, you know, uh, some of our teacher assistants will receive significant increases in their pay based on this budget. Uh, it's a step plus 1% for other folks. P uh, some of our um, other scales like cafeteria and custodian will see an increase just because we have, we've raised the minute of the step zero to $10 that drives the scale all the way through. So most people see a benefit in that as well. It sounds like it's going to be 950 and, uh, maybe a 2% raise this year and a 2% raise next year. And what we're ba based on now is a $10 minimum. So we'll have the option of leaving it that way, which reduces the hole we've got to dig out of next year. 